Hello YouTubers. It's been a while since I put out a video. It's been raining, it's been cold, it's been wet, it's been nasty. We had snow in April like everybody else has had. But uh, anyway, uh, it's that time of year when everybody's getting their lawnmowers and stuff ready, so I guess that's what I'll do. I bought this little kit here. Let me show you. I usually get this kit every year. It's the same old kit. It's just a Briggs and Stratton tune-up kit. It's got oil, hydraulic fluid, air filters, oil filter, spark plugs, gas filter instructions for those of you who's incapable of doing this on your own. But uh, anyway, instructions. We don't need no stinking instructions. But anyway, uh, for those of you who don't know, and there's probably a few of them, well, I need a light back here for y'all to see, I think. There's an oil spout right down there, and you put a line on it, and it runs down through this hole, and it'll run in this catch pan, and that's so you don't wind up getting oil all over everything. Spark plug goes here, spark plug goes over there, fuel filter goes here, air filter goes there, oil goes in there, hydraulic oil goes in there. Uh, we'll just stick you on my head and walk you through it. I'll probably play music because I know y'all don't get tired of listening to me talk, so alright, let's get with it. I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, uh, I had a phone call, I had to go take care of some livestock. Well, it wasn't livestock, it was varmints. Uh, with YouTube's policy and everything about hunting, let's just say they were varmints and they are disposed of. So, anyway, uh, I'm letting the rest of the oil chain drain out. Uh, got the oil filter put on. Don't know if y'all can see that down there or not. And let's see if we can get this fuel filter off here. Of course, it'll pour gas everywhere, but that's just the way it is. Now, you want to look at your filter, make sure your arrow is pointing toward the pump or toward the motor, whichever one you prefer. I don't know why they give me such a little filter in this case. I guess cost reduction is going everywhere these days. There we go. Is new.
it's not a requirement but I do it put a little anti seats on your spark plugs you can get this anti seize stick any part store they sell them everywhere it's pretty handy it's not very messy about like chapstick you just turn it in bring it out stick something on it I use anti seize on all my spark plugs on my mower deck blades for a simple reason you know you're going to be taking them back out so why not make it easier on yourself And for those of you who don't know, steel and aluminum seizes. And since a lot of these motors have aluminum heads in them anymore, it's best if you put any lock on them. What did I do with the other spark plug? Well, I know they got there it is. That's what them are for. They're for hiding the spark plug. them instructions was good for something.
Oh, FYI, tool of the day. Go to Amazon. I don't have a link to Amazon. I don't have enough subscribers. So if you buy something from Amazon, I don't get nothing for it. But you get it. But anyway, this little fellow right here is a lifesaver. It's called a strap wrench. I don't recall the part number on it. Just type in strap wrenches and go to look it. But this thing is a wonder bus. It'll cover a filter that big or one that big, like the lawnmower. You can use a half inch, three eighths. You can put an extension on it if you can't get to the filter or whatever. But it's a whole lot better than them old filter wrenches ever used to be. See if the ground squirrels filled my filter full. They're awful good at that. Not too bad. That needs to be blowed out. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, the mesh and foam, the mesh goes down. Of course, you can just read the instructions if you want to.
practice here. Plugs, filter, oh. All we gotta do is pull the oil in her and sharpen the blades. May do that another time. Because the grass is starting, it don't really need to be mowed. It's just kind of bushy. I mean, if you can see, it's just kind of bushy. I don't really have good grass. I have a whole lot of weeds in my yard. I don't care really. Grass is grass around the house. As long as I got good pasture for my cattle. Well, that'd be about all I got to say about this one. Except, go buy you one of these. You won't regret it. And we'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.